Hi, in this video I'll show you how to use the fill series command to fill numbers that are pretty big and also to fill numbers that are exponential and fill dates that are in a large range. So what do I mean by that? Let's say for example you wanted to fill a series of numbers and you wanted to go from 1 to maybe 500,000 and really you can go at 1 and then go plus equals uh, equals uh, that plus 1 and maybe you can take the fill handle and select that cell and go all the way down. Or, or maybe you can just do it to one, two, three, uh, and then go ahead and take the fill handle and just copy all the way down to 500,000. And you would have to copy that all the way down to the 500,000 cell or whatever large number you wanted to copy it for. Well, there's an easier way to do that. And basically, that's using the fill command series, uh, the fill series command. And all you need to do is just type a one here. And you can go and press uh, Control Enter to stay in that cell. And go under Fill here and type go to the series. And we're going to go down the series in the, in the column here, right? And we're going to do a linear series. And maybe we'll stop at 500,000, right? One, two, three. Uh, click OK. And now I go ahead and Control Down Arrow. And you can see that we've gone all the way to 500,000. Let me go ahead and Control Home to go back up here. Now, you can also do this with dates. Let's say, for example, we have 1, 1, 2,000. Uh, and we want to go ahead and make a date for that and make it end at uh, 2010. So I can click series. Uh, my my date series is in the column. It's a date. My stop value is going to be 1, 1, and 2010. Press enter. And now you notice that it's filled it all the way down. Control down arrow. My last cell is 1, 1, 2010. Let me do control up arrow to go back to the top. We can also do it where instead of doing it linear, we can do it exponential. So what do, what do I mean by that? Let's say, we, for example, we have one here, and we want to double every time that it, it goes. So I can go, go to fill, go to series, and then go to growth, and the step value is going to be two. So every time it's going to double, and maybe I want to stop it at let's stop it at 200. Press OK. Whoops, I forgot to uh, adjust it for column instead of rows. Let me control control Z to undo and go ahead and go to fill, go to series, do columns, growth, and we're going to double each time all the way. Let's make it 1,000. 1,000. Press enter, and now it's double it. 1 times 2, 2 times 4, 4 times 2, 8 times 2, 16 times 2. So it's going to go all the way down. And it stopped at 512 because the next one is going to be 1024, not 1,000. So there's many different ways that you can have the fill series go ahead and increment uh, your values, whether it's through your integer values. You can also do decimals or your dates. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.